Where are you off to in such a half? No, I just don't. Um... Are you okay? No, not really. Me either. So, what are we gonna do about it? <laughs> By the way, gorgeous. What is your name? My name's Joan. As in Joan of Arc, the rebel warrior? As in Joan Jett. My mother was a huge Blackhearts fan. I'm David. As in? As in David. <laughs> <laughs> what gives me the feeling that's your car? Mr. Ed. I like horses. I'll take you for a ride then.
Isaac, gonna play goal for us today? I'm the best goalie. That's right, it takes the awesomest dragon to guard the dragon's lair, huh? All right. Want to be favor and get the goal set up? Sure thing, coach. So, uh, I decided not to take the job with Koi's company. It's not fair to leave you holding a bag of stellar construction. Especially with the old man hanging over you the way he does. Are you crazy? This is perfect for you. You were born to do this kind of stuff. But what about you? This is about you, big brother. I like getting my hands dirty and pounding nails. You look better in a three-piece suit than steel-toed boots. <laughs> OK, you got a point there, but No I buts. Still... Let's get that butt back out in the field. We got a game to play. And uh, don't forget us little people when you're hobnobbing with Bill Gates. Little people? My sister, a little person? I don't oh. think so. All right, guys, come on. All the way down the field. Go, okay. go, go, go. Nice Let's kick, go. Ryan. Nice. All right. Nice. Okay, Megan, come on. Get in there. Stay Someone back get back Justin in the game. Come on. Come on. Move it down. All, all right. All right, right guys. Okay, come on. Yes, yeah. nice. Go, go. Megan, go. Take yeah. it all the way. You want to drive? You want to drive? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not letting you drive my car. We'll see. Oh. Take the shortcut, David. <laughs> you got it, kiddo.
David. I need your help. David. David, remember I told you? <laughs> Five checks and I still gotta sell my ass. They're on to me, you know. I got a lifestyle like you, David. Um, I'm going places. Come on, we gotta move. Sweetie, make yourself at home. Sars in this fucking department store, right? And this. I don't know when it was. When was it? Oh, it doesn't matter. And this sales bitch, this, this... This fucking sales bitch tits down her ankles. Right? <laughs> She's, uh... <laughs> trying to buy a bra, right? And, uh... I saw this show on it. It's, like, scientific and all that shit. And, um... Oh, you know what I mean? Uh, do you want something to drink? Because I have some mineral water and echinacea. Frank's brother hit a warehouse. <laughs> do you know what time it is? Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. Is that all you gotta say? Where the Christ hell were ya? Cigarettes. You know. Cigarettes. What are you talking about? Cigarettes, baby. It's like cigars, only with ets. Because they're little. What? No. Oh, it's been stuck in my head now for... Oh, fuck. Four, eight. Yeah, 16 minutes. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like the rock cats, you know? Fucking rock cats. It's not even fucking spelled the same, you douchebag. Here you fucking go again, huh? This is book reading. Just shoving it down my throat, huh? Fucking la di da di da. Thank you. Hey, you. How would you spell rockets? I don't know. I don't. I don't even smoke. <laughs> so, uh, does this guy work or what? This guy is a guy I used to know, David. Huh? Yeah. So he's not work. No, he's work. Yeah? yeah? All right. Let's get to it then. You know, it's one thing I can't stand is non-smokers. Fucking la di da. Well, 
What's it gonna be? Strain beets or prune mush? Mm. <laughs> Does that come with fries? You close it, champagne's on you. <laughs> ladies, ladies, I have been waiting for you. <laughs> I fix it up. Just for you. Hmm? What do you think? <laughs> Same like mine. What do you think? Oh, if you have some idea or you want to change something. <laughs> oh, I... Hey, David. I'm so glad you decided to work with me. <laughs> Together, we will get rich. Oh, you're already rich. <laughs> I'll be richer, but you'll be rich. Hey, come. Come. We will drink in my office. <laughs> this is something of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Be careful. This might bring out the worst to me. That's what mm. I was hoping for. <laughs> David, where's your father and your sister? Uh, Dad called. He said he's going to be a bit late. But don't worry about Sam. Uh, he wouldn't miss your big day. <laughs> it's just like Bill, to show up late. David, you could tell him to start the show in a few minutes. OK. We have tradition in my country. Come, come with me. <laughs> this eye is old. Stara. This eye is new. No. Keep keep it open. Keep it
And but you say that to all the guys. No, usually they come up to me first and say something really lame, like, come here often. Or, uh, I didn't want to kick myself for the rest of my life for not telling you that you are spectacularly beautiful. No. That's not my... I'm keeping an eye on you. No. Um, is that your girlfriend? No, again. That's good. Mm. I like that one. She takes what she wants. And what about you? Do you take what you want? All the way. Are you all right? So, where are you off to in such a house? No, I just... Uh... Okay? No. Me either. So what are we gonna do about it? <clears throat> we call it geographic profiling. <laughs> I thought we had a rule that all cell phones are to... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah. This is Scarlet. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah. Sure, Al. Sorry, people. <laughs> Gotta go. That'll be it for today. But for Monday, please read the Schachter article on how the system was applied in the Jeffrey Olden case. Thank you. That's too tight for me. I'm getting soft in my old age. You take a shot, huh? You work from up top. Come on, what? Put a move on, eh? A little elbow grease on it, man. Hey, hey! Now, now, it's just grease. We don't take the Lord's name in vain. It's a sin, you know, for you Irish Catholics. What year is this thing, Al? Oh, I know what you're thinking. Old Al's probably got a lot of dough stuck away. Well, let me tell you, it's a tough habit to break, being frugal. You get used to pinching pennies. Then you know what they say about old dog. Besides, they got such a deal on this baby, I, uh, I couldn't pass it up. <laughs> what is it, Al? You pulled me out of class. You're early, Mikey. I uh, thought I'd get some more done before you got here. We've got another homicide. It's uh, mountain evidence that we got a serial, and I'm not talking Captain Crunch. Ouch. M.O.'s the same as the other. Victim is severely incapacitated one place and dumped somewhere else to die a slow, excruciatingly painful death. Autopsies show the victims survived at least 24 hours after the attack, and then end up as floaters. Nice. Files in my office. Body washed up in the Snout Creek area, just like the other. 
one in. Get in there, fire it up. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> Not bad for an old girl, huh? Come on, move on over there. Move your ass. I'll take you for a spin. Stick those somewhere safe, pal. We got a political hot potato here, Mikey. Half the town wants to give this killer a medal, but we got to put him in jail. So good luck, officer. Or should I say, and you'll excuse the greasy hand, Detective Inspector Scallon. <laughs> That's not all she wrote. Behind curtain number three, the department creating a strategic criminology services section with a permanent geographic profile unit, which you, of course, will skip her. You don't say. Pick a team. Your six brightest students and catch this, uh, this hero. Yes. Come on, I'll take you to a drive through treat you to a burger. Fasten your seatbelt, cyber cop and greasy chief owl ridden the city of crime. Oh, that sounds sweet. <laughs> hey, boy! This is it! They're just jealous. Location data of a connected series of crimes such as murders, rapes, bombings, etc., is entered into the computer. Then the software extrapolates the most likely locations of the offender's residence. It's basically a mathematical model. It uses upwards of a million calculations to produce a jeopardy surface. And the grid and height of that shows us where the perpetrator might be located. We call it geographic profiling. What do you got to say about that? Not Jewish, is he? In a hurry? Yeah, you can say that. <laughs> I said I better get off my keister and cook up a storm for my little Jojo before she falls off her horse or wins the Kentucky Derby or whatever the heck it's called. So how is that champion of yours anyway? He's fine, Auntie. He's not a racer. He's a jumper. Jumper, schmumper. They all have four legs and a big ass. <laughs> but not as big as mine, huh, Jojo? Nah, my days of jumping fences are over. Why don't you go to another machine if you're in such a hurry? Look, pal, it's not just me. Yeah? Are you the spokesman for the group? I'm going to give that David an earful. Well, I think that's about it for today, gentlemen. I'll see you next week.
bastards. A bunch of bastards. Hello, this is Amber Gotrowski for the FBTV News Crews, filling in for Matt James, who was away sick. Last night, immediately behind me in 372 Willow Street, there was another in the city's rash of sexual predator murders, bringing the total to three. Future Vision News Crews is the first to report that this latest victim, like the two before him, was a convicted sexual predator. With me is a local resident of this quiet, working-class neighbourhood. Ma'am, did you ever think anything like this could ha ever happen in what seems to be a very quiet, safe neighborhood? All I've got to say is, I'm sorry about this man being killed, but our neighborhood is now a little safer for kids. Excuse me, ma'am. I have to ask you to leave. Anything else right now? The preliminary analysis of the blood splatter pattern indicates that the victim received more than a substantial amount of blows. The arc on the ceiling shows that the victim was also bleeding excessively during the initial attack. This is purely a guess, Mike, but I think the weapon was some type of mallet. Look at these spray lines. They're definitely not arterial, and they gradually decrease in altitude as the guy was buckling, I guess. It was a mallet or some type of heavy club. I mean, it was definitely a lot of force and impact. We're probably looking at excessive bone breakage here. Thanks, Valerie. Appreciate it. The body's probably going to make an appearance somewhere along the creek in the next couple of days. Mr. Scanlon, look at this. Uh, that's interesting. Hmm. Seems like an engraving, a protrusion from a small statue trophy huh. that forensic stick of all uh, compare those to the other exactly Man, right? She's not the only one. Where were you last night? Uh, I had an emergency crisis meeting at. The... Don't shit me, David. All right, I got arrested. Yeah, I know. I called your father, and he told me. You have a pretty, pretty violent temper, huh? Not really. David, why don't you try and get on a horse and stay? Oh, 
thing. Running through the night to the moon. You're the queen of my humble kingdom. Trouble oh. always seems. Oh. 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 Will you be your fool? Will you be your prince? Come on, this kid needs a chance. Are you all right? A hand there, Buckaroo. You're my life, yes, so. Oh, my dark one. Oh, oh. So I need you. I need you to stay. Don't worry, they're all dead. I I'm sorry I startled you. Uh, it's just that I'm not used to waking up and uh, finding a law enforcement officer in my living room. I've uh, seen you with that reporter, um, Miss Grotowski. You have uh, quite the reputation, Mr. Scullin. Scullin. Uh, Scullin. Well, I'm uh, sure uh, you have a particular purpose in being here. Uh, is it detective? Inspector will do. Of course. I just have a couple of questions. Maybe you could shed some light on. Oh, I'm very interested in shedding light, uh, Inspector. Fire away. Do you uh, facilitate any other groups? Several. Are they all pedophiles? And sexual predators. And this latest victim? He was a member of the same therapeutic group as the other two so-called Snout Creek victims of the several groups that you conduct. Facilitate. Uh, uh, I'll be honest with you, Doctor. There's one thing that caused me to lose a bit of sleep. Oh. These lists of group members' addresses aren't public knowledge, are they? Freedom of Information Act being as it is. Granted, but uh, what are the chances that three names chosen at random would come from the same group? We've had the residents under close watch for days now, and... Anything's possible, Inspector. Exactly. Uh, listen, uh... Am I under suspicion here? Not necessarily. Well, in that case, uh, I have another session to facilitate. Believe it or not, Mr. Scallon, these people are entitled to help and support. And you wouldn't want to miss a payment on your Mercedes. 
Actually, it's a 56 T-bird. Of course. Hey, John. Hey, David. How's the new job? It's good. Hey, Pete. David, how's it going? You here to check up on Sam? I don't think it's Sam we got to worry about now. <laughs> John? So I decided I want Sammy with me on this first job with Kolya. She's too young to run this site on her own. It's with you. It's Sammy we're talking about here. You think anyone is going to tell her what to do? Spencer. You back? Yeah. I just got an email from the lab. Pollen spores of, you know, from a Eutrius vultus. An extremely rare tree had been lifted from the Snow Creek bodies. I'm on it. I'm bringing it up now. Let's see, this tree is only found in three places on the continent. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, here it is. It uh, goes on to say that the only area within a thousand mile radius is just adjacent to our Snow Creek Park. So our victims have been spending some time in the park area before ending up in the creek. I want you to cross-reference the geographic coordinates of the area and enter the data. Done. Wouldn't want to assign too much probability to that location. You know, corrupting the Jeopardy surface by entering the same data twice. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, by the way, I, I went online and researched the area. Yeah, apparently our east side suburban neighbor, Arborddale, takes its name in reference to the rare trees. Did you know that the first known saplings stayed Yeah, I know the internet is interesting, but let's stay focused. Here's something interesting for you. Research records of any and all sexual predators in the region for the last 20 years. Our perp was probably the victim at one time. Check any and all sources, police records, community flyers, psych files. Hell, question ex-altar boys if you have to. Say no more. Your uh, trusty teacher's pet is all over it. Just, just get around the bench. You can sit down. <laughs> you can sit down. Come on, David. Go on. You're lucky I trust you. <laughs> I see the child in your eyes It's burning and burning inside Let me wade into your shallows Turning what's wrong into right Come and kiss me tonight <laughs>
Don't, please. David's always been high-strung. But as his father would say, that's what makes a good businessman. I've got to go, Mrs. Stoller. No, 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 no. You must try my new tea. It's lemongrass. Uh, very good for the hypothalamus gland. I've got a competition to prepare for, so... Yes, uh, you're an equestrian. Yeah. I used to ride. Seems like a thousand years ago. I was terrified of jumping. Yeah, it is a bit of a rush, clinging to a 1,500-pound animal as they try and fly, but I've always been a bit of a risk taker, so... Don't give up on David. He's had a tough go of it. I'm not. I'm just trying to understand. David and Sam have always had a special relationship. Two years apart, but they're like twins. As kids, they did everything together, before and after. You must try one of my favorite cookies. Try one. Very yummy. Anybody notice anything unusual about this? That's because there isn't. It fits the profile to a T. Other than the obvious, what's the most important information this John Doe can tell us? Where he lived? Where exactly Up Creek his body was dumped in? Where he was attacked. The attack site, yes. Because? Because it'll most likely decrease the jeopardy surface and help us zero in on the hot spot. All right. As much as we all like the view out here, let's take this back inside. Hi, David. It's Joan. I hope you're feeling, um, better. Look, if... if you're there, just pick up the phone. Okay? You've reached the voicemail of David Stone. You have six saved messages and one new message. New message. David, if you're there, please answer the phone. To erase this message, press 7. To save it, press 9.
you, David? Hello? Okay, now, Amber, don't push on this one. We'll feed you the questions. You'll come off sounding like Diane Sawyer. Just repeat what I tell you to say. Hi, Master. This is Control. We're going to Detective the top Skyline. Of the We're ready. Ready, remote camera one. And ready, Super Amber. This is live, folks. Stand by. Three, two, one. This is Amber Gotrowski filling in for Matt James on the FV TV news crews. We're here on location with Detective Inspector Scallon, one of the key investigators and the police department spokesman for the Snout Creek murders. Welcome, Inspector Scallon. Good afternoon, Amber. Nice to see you again. I'm sure our viewing audience is confident the police department is doing everything in its power to stop the Snout Creek killer. Well, we're not certain at this time that all these crimes are the work of one person, but uh, we are doing everything we can. Presumably a substantial amount of resources are being focused on this investigation. It's one of our chief priorities, yes. I understand that your office has been receiving threats. No. What, what did you just I'm not at a liberty no, to discuss that. Do you have any children? I'm sorry, but I don't see... Do you have any kids? Could we ice. please stick to the issue here? Get back on the My older sister has a three-year-old and a five-year-old. Well, let me ask you this. How do you feel about protecting child molesters? I mean, these are the kind of people who... Exactly. And it's people who are being murdered. And now we have a phone-in poll. We're off the air. What the hell was that all about? Just trying to personalize it for the viewers. This isn't tabloid television, Miss Grotowski. The police department allows interviews as a community service. It's an opportunity to inform the public and uh, possibly aid in the investigation. Well, thank you for the lecture, but I am not one of your students, Mr. Scallon. Uh, Mr. Scallon, we've got a problem. What's that? You gotta come take a look. Wait, what?
we've had three more floaters make an appearance. One fished out of a local gill net, two at the mouth of Snow Creek. As per usual, all three victims were known or convicted pedophiles. This was the modified map based on the new data. You can see the hotspots haven't been altered because we still don't have enough information to narrow the search. Got to keep shrinking that old Jeopardy surface. Ooh, I can just feel that hot spot now. <laughs> Come on, guys. We need attack sites. Make sure you scan every list with a pedophile's name and address on it. But we've already done that. We'll do it again. You might have to leave these computer screens for a change. Good old-fashioned legwork never killed anyone. At least not since I've been on the force. Like I said, nothing new to report at this time. But perhaps Miss Grotowski would care to provide us with some more interesting family folklore. Reginald Blake, one of the alleged victims, was killed by a copycat. We, we already have a confession. Blake's body was not dumped in the Snow Creek district. The beating was less severe than the others. No trace of pollen spores. I mean, the data was corrupting the geo profile. Our guys on a mission like Travis from Taxi Driver. They're all animals anyway. All the animals come out at night. Whores, skunk pussies, dopers, junkies, sick, venal. Well, someday a real rain will come and wash all the scum off the streets. You got that film memorized? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> On the house, Charlie. For a long time, custom will come home. Someone say you dead, Charlie. You look good for dead man. <laughs> Hello. 
I'm in for 20 for this Friday. How about you, Spencer? I can't. Bullshit! Oh. Just pick a day, computer geek. Andy. You know, you're lucky we're letting you in on this one. The next floater shows up on... Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This Wednesday. All right. All right. We're all set. Yeah. Kiss your money goodbye, gentlemen. I'll go for another brisket. Okay. Um, I know something about the snout guy. My name's on the Pewitt list. Meet me. At... You want a reason? Oh man, I'll give you a reason. Okay, the reason's this: your friend Pewitt wouldn't let me tell you what I'm gonna tell you. How's that for a reason? Meet me tomorrow at two three zero eight zero Dyke Road. this? Where you go? What's this? Well, let me put it to you this way. Your brilliant assistant has a gambling problem. Caught betting on some sort of kill pool. What? Must be true. It's in the Times. Oh, I get it. This is damage control, huh? Yeah. That's why you're the genius. Who's there? 
Scallon. Oh, you can't see me. Well, that's the deal. What's your name? No. No way. Hey, look, I don't have a gun, so just... You don't need a gun. Just put it away. There isn't any gun. So what do you have to tell me? Some kind of deal. I ain't stupid here. We gotta make some kind of deal first. What do you need? What do they have against my angel? What do they have to go and kill her for? I, I, I've been going to my sessions, and I never touch no kids, never. God, this makes me shaky. Still from Papa Mas 14 threes. I'm still She'd have been 15 next month. Angel? I don't know where to live. Hey, sorry about your situation, pal, but uh, if you've got nothing to tell me, I'm out of here. I don't need your pity. Hey, I can give you the license plate. Okay, I'm listening. I want a safe place to live and, and police round the clock and observation on my premises. We got a deal or what? Depends what you got for me. This guy, this Snout Creek guy, he followed me for two days. I knew it was him. You give me the license number, I'll do what I can. I had Angel since she was a little pup. She was so small. a nice old couple. They were so sweet. I Who were they? Uh, the Washingtons. They came up from Miami to celebrate their 50th wedding anniversary. Oh, they were so cute. And the car got stolen when they were at the sushi restaurant having dinner. I still got their address here somewhere because we were talking about that. And I was going to...
40,000 to 50,000 kids are molested in this country every year. Pedophilia is an epidemic. Uh, you ask any Catholic kid who grew up in the 50s, the 60s, even the 70s, they should have known about it. It's about time somebody did something about those perverts. Parents are vigilant and take every opportunity to safeguard their children from sexual predators. When I was a kid, my mother referred to them as funny people. It's the Lord's will. He has sent us an avenging angel to cleanse the world and help rid us of these sinners. There is nothing more disgusting. Well, half the hookers in this town are kids, so that means that all those Johns are pedophiles. Is that good? Still rolling? No. <laughs> no? Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, I, you know, I don't really know about pedophiles myself, but uh, I know that there's, you know, there's lots out there. A 20th century bubonic plague, it blacks out the countryside. I was abused as a child, and as far as I'm concerned, you know, they should just cut it off. All right, then. We have been given a significant lead. I'm going to show you people the beauty of my invention. Listen! And learn. The surname of the deceased pedophile uncle was entered into the GP database and cross-referenced with local residential surnames and addresses. We now have one address on the Jeopardy surface that is very hot.
This is Scallon, go ahead. Have located suspect 211, over. Where? David? I've got a really bad feeling, Mom. It's not him. They found something in David's room. They're here now. Oh my God, Sam, they think that David is... Stay calm, he's, he's probably just at the office. He's not. I'll, I'll take care of this. I, I, I promise. Don't Perfect place for a fairy tale. <sighs> Wonderful. <clears throat> a throne for my princess. My little princess. Fell. That's all. Come on, it's getting dark. Backup unit 
units have already been dispatched. Thanks, Marianne. 10 4. Sorry to keep you at the station for so long. Are you sure you're all right, Samantha? No. Pardon me? I'm fine. Now, you just try and get some sleep, okay? It's a nice place you have here. Thanks. Now, if you need anything, just call and ask for me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> 